is a freshman, and that's Hassan Adams. He's averaging about 18 points a game. They're so deep. And it's really who's in the position, who has the chance, Steve Fisher and his Aztecs. They have their work cut out for them, but this is a golden opportunity to put this program on the map. Here's this rare in these parts, but San Diego State ready to welcome in Arizona, and Luke Walton gets his hands on the tip. So we are underway. Arizona coming in 3-0, and as Bill mentioned, just rolling over their opponents. They have averaged about 35 points per win and a quick foul. They were a little bit late getting the clock started inside the arena so that Walton to the baseline, nifty behind the back pass. There's Gardner, his first shot off the mark. And it's controlled by the Aztecs. Mike McHale in the middle, a tireless worker, the foundation of the team. When he gets it going early, the Aztecs can be very, very good. He wears number 30 for Steve Fisher's team. They come in 2-2. Two and two. After losses to Eastern Washington and Portland, they picked up a couple of wins, beating Cal Poly and UC San Diego back-to-back. -back. Beautiful passing to Andre Moore. In and out. Rebounded away by Anderson. It comes free to Walton. Walton, one of the top passers in America. He was the first non-guard to lead the Pac-10 in assists last year at 6.3 a game. Anderson double team had it stripped and stolen away. Beautiful double teaming defense. Anderson's got to spread out his elbows a little bit more. Shooters in the country. The Aztecs coming off a record-breaking performance. 16 three-pointers made in their Monday night victory where I had the pleasure to be here and watch the Aztecs route the Toreros. This was a, a, a 16 three-point shot night for San Diego State. Record-setting performance. And a 30-point win. Into the backcourt. Brown hustles to get it. Look at the hands on Iguodala. He gives it off to Walton. Beautifully done underneath to the dump by Fry in Arizona. He's on the scoreboard. They come with their press here. Ricky Anderson on the ball is so very, very good. Attack the press if you're the Aztecs. And does right to the rack. Missed the short one. Sanders follows. He's a 6'8 junior out of Carson, California. Very good defender and their top rebounder. And a half a mile. And there's Chris Walton, my youngest son. Chris, the younger one of four. Walton's to play Division I basketball. As it's like to see him able to keep that ball in play on the block. There's Sir connecting on a three-pointer. And Bill, every shot he's taken this year, except one, has been outside that three-point arc. He's a spot-up shooter. He waits till the play develops. He works off other people. He's not a guy who's going to create himself. They're really pressuring Ricky Anderson a lot on a double team. Give up the ball to Little Sir. Pass. And then he's Anderson, but blocked away. So here come the Aztecs. They lead by two, and their crowd is on fire. In and out, this and right now the Wildcats are a little sloppy underway. Steve Fisher's defensive strategy of double teaming immediately in the low points has worked very effectively. Right now, and this is inside for Brian. He's hooked shot good. So Fry ties it at five. Arizona a, a little sluggish in the set offense. Floating passes. Not got any momentum from the pass. Aztecs attacking again. Jason Gardner did a fine job on Tony Bland. Even if they were getting any good looks early. Here's Bland handling the ball to Syracuse transfer. To more of the point guard. He drops it in for three. The press has generated nothing for Arizona early on. They're having to get everything out of the set offense. They're not dominating the defensive backboards. Nice Great feed for Anderson from Walton. And you'll see a lot of that tonight. The bump. Third for San Diego State. Nice front to wow. Blocked by an offensive foul. A charge is called. Offensive attackers. Maybe a bit of an early surprise here. Arizona down. Johnson to the hole. And the shot made by number 20 for Man Davis. And they've opened up a three-point lead. Walton with the kick out. Into the corner. Bottom with a three. Good on Adams. Ryder dribble drive. Laid it in. Steve Fisher said any time. Over the top. And there's Burns for two. Evan Burns 
Jones, the McDonald's on American. <laughs> and what an answer. <laughs> Aztec Bowl rocking like it never has before. It's the days of Jim Morrison and Jimi Hendrix. Pull up pop by Moore. Got hung up and he banked it in. You got to call bank on that. You got to. Let me that smile. I thought that he got fouled by, by Arizona. I think that was his, his thought. Nearly lost. Jack it up, Will. Finally. Not that time. Tipped up. Aztec basketball. Moore has really been pushing it, the senior. He's the point guard, a real stopper. Uh, beautiful basketball. Signs of things to come here for Steve Fisher. That's a seven-footer knocking down a three-pointer. Well, Chris Winter is a tremendous basketball talent. But back for Arizona, tied at 17. San Diego State's defense has been fabulous. Adams couldn't convert. On the... Well, this place is rocking and rolling in San Diego. 17-17, 10.02 to play here in the first half. Delighted to be joined by Chris Walton, who is redshirting this year. The junior, we didn't pull him away from the bench. We didn't get him in civvy clothes just for the interview. But, Chris, thanks for joining us. This is a great arena tonight. Thanks for having me. I'm having a great time. I can't believe you guys pulled me away from my team at a time like this. <laughs> Do you know any of those people over there in the student section? Yeah, I've seen a few of them around campus, and we're glad they're out here supporting us tonight. What about the one with Steve Fisher's two heads? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, don't don't go there. Don't go there. How hard is it for you to be sitting here tonight and not out here helping out? You know, it's one of the hardest nights of my life so far. Uh, you know, having Luke out there and having Bill here doing the game, I want to be out there with my team helping them win. The block, and here come the Wildcats. Hassan Adams takes control, tied at 17. There's your brother. You've seen that in the backyard more than once. He must have been working on that jump shot in the offseason. <laughs> How much trash talking has gone on about this game? Since the day we got on the schedule with Arizona, I got a phone call from Luke and all his teammates, and we've been going nonstop since then. The steal by Bynum, working on more. Took the punch. I've got a, a bigger question, though, Dave. Sure. And that has, has Coach Fisher relaxed the facial hair restrictions around here? What is going on? <laughs> what I've been trying to do is I'm trying to emulate Bill's beard from the 70s, <laughs> and this is all I can come up with. <laughs> Keep working like this, and this is going by the wayside, obviously, to play against your brother on a national stage like this. I know he was jacked up about it. Hopefully one of those days will come down the road for the two of you again. But he said, you know, just the opportunity to, to be in the same building with you and your dad was one of the highlights of his life. Yeah, well, this is a great night for all of us, and I you know we're going to be out there playing, but unfortunately, you know, I had to make the decision for the red shirt. In and out, Anderson pulls it away. Summit and Banker look very talented. Your take on them. Well, dad walked through the door and he said, you know what? I plan on taking over the basketball universe. <laughs> Every one of you guys have to play Division One. Adam, Nate, Luke, Chris, you all have to. Chris, your dad, a legend at UCLA. What was that like? Well, he never forced any of us to play basketball. You know, it was all our choices, and he always stressed the fact that we do well in school, get our education, and have that to rely on. We all make the uh, decision to play basketball ourselves. How are you? Uh, how are you different from your brother as a player? Uh, as a player, I think all of us, all the brothers, share similar traits on the floor. I don't think we're really that different in any ways. Adam is here tonight. Adam's been sitting right back later. Sitting just a couple seats behind us. And Nathan, the other son, is playing professionally tonight in France against Michael Brooks, one of my old Tipper teammates. No what a, what a small world. Isn't that remarkable? Adam, who is the oldest, played at LSU, made at Princeton. And this one tied at 21. And it's been deafening inside the Cox Arena tonight here on the campus of San Diego State. The changing defenses by Steve Fisher have been very effective. Arizona able to get nothing out of their set offense. Godala got airborne, just tossed it up. A wild shot. Oh, you know, we were excited. You know, we had this opportunity last year. We went to play that Duke, the number one team in the nation. So we know what it's like to play against the best. And uh, you all... The San Diego State has been hot from three-point distance. Sir, early on. Man, can he shoot it. Anything. Three's in transition. And he gets it off quick, doesn't he? He doesn't waste any time. Neither does fly. <laughs> and a little fist pump here at the table. Tex. They're trying to tie it. Oh, with a big rebound. Blocked away. <laughs> That's something out of the Globetrotters. Mark. A foul from the hot. San Diego State has been the better team tonight. They still trail by three points. 
I went to high school with that guy. Yeah. And then this one, this one, I'm going to let you describe this one, Dave. That's uh, Steve Fisher. <laughs> Two of Steve Fisher are better than one. That's all I can say. First road effort of the year, and it's been a fight for them. Stoudemire, Gardner spots up. Okay. Playing, for Buckley. Playing for one, they couldn't get it done. San Diego, Arizona, all they can ask for.